Why do they call it oven one? This is my look of disapproval. Oops, I had a stinger left on. Hey, time travelers. Another Starfield stream here. Like I said last week, I want to do some side missions and get her, grab another space power or two, if there are that many left in the game. Well, for this playthrough. And I also want to do this the secret side mission that I just discovered called the Vulture's Roost, where there's a bunch of mercenaries and a bunch of loot to get. All that and a lot of chatting and hanging out is planned for the stream. All right, get this phone working so I can monitor the stream. Um, that button? There we go. Connect to the internet, yeah. I film with this phone, so the Wi-Fi is usually disconnected, so it doesn't try to download stuff or make my, you know, make the video recording lag. Ah. Here we go. And it plays me an ad. Of course it plays me an ad. Hey, Charlie, I see you. Hey, Al! Glasses. And Corey. Trying to get a computer to work. I'm actually going to let this ad play through, even though it's annoying. If I can find the volume down! Trying to get a computer to work. I do not I like this case. There we go. All right, enough of that. And I monitor the stream two ways. I make sure they're both muted so they don't disturb the, the viewers. And make it sound like there's an echo. I think the first thing we'll do is grab that space power that I have as a mission or quest line. Yeah, it's quest line. Oh, I got a thing for that. You are now entering the free star space. Please maintain your current speed while we scan you for contraband. By God, that's the most succulents I've ever seen on a single vessel in my entire career. Finally, get my Joel Haver stingers put in there from the Joel Haver video with all the succulents. Don't crash! Don't crash! Ah! Thank God for thrusters. That number stayed as 32 that whole way. Did you guys notice that? The little quest marker means 32 meters. That means... As the ship is moving closer to docking to the station, my player character is not moving closer to the station. Or see, he's not moving closer to... See, now it's, now he's 40 meters away. I'm farther than I was when I was outside. Hey, hey, Andrea, what's up? Never regretted coming out of retirement. Constellations got the writ of the righteous. Forgot to check the math on a few equations. Found one. Easy as a needle in the stack. Hope those powers you're getting to overinflate you. 
Got enough eagles in Constantly. You need something? They named the star system after Newton. I need to maximize that thing. Sol hey, Salmon Moonwar. See that my phone that I'm monitoring the stream is doesn't have that. Look at like I, I could show you my phone, but. I made this app, and I, th I threw a function in it to keep reloading YouTube every 10 minutes, and there's Solmar's comment, and I don't see that comment on my phone. I think my my uh, conspiracy theory is that's one of the ways that YouTube is keeping small channels down, is they don't refresh stuff, so I don't see comments. So I have to back out of the stream and go back into it. Now I see his comment. Ooh, weird blue glowy plants. I like that. I think that's cool. Scanner anomaly. All right, where are you at, Temple? That direction, probably. I think I see it. Better save it in case uh, Todd Howard doesn't approve of my getting over there quickly and crashes my game. Jesus, quick saves. Because Todd Howard be like, we really do push the technology, so you may need to upgrade your PC for this game. Shut up, Todd Howard. My RTX 3090 and and whatever my Ryzen CPU isn't enough. Sky fart from a ship taken off. Let me go over there. That's a, a new sound. Seeing this just highlights how little we still know about Starborn and the artifacts. I don't know why I was standing there. It was already open. All right. Floaty time. All right, where's the thing? There's a thingy. Vroom. Brum. 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 That's not a thing. Probably not gonna get that one. No, it's gone. Where's the next one? Nope. You always make the last one really hard to get.
I'm like, come on, game. Somebody mod this, so I only have to, like, touch four of these things. I'm not tone deaf. Aliens. Yes, Salmon, I did check out Instant ID, and it is not face swap like I thought it might be. The Guardian thought he was so hot by appearing on the ledge. Who stands on a ledge and makes a threat, honestly? Because you're just going to fall off when you get shot at. Because physics. So instant ID is... Um... Oh, and Alex, what is lame? What's lame? Instant ID is for taking a picture and stylizing it. That's pretty sweet. But it uses models that have a copyright on them of some kind. That's not explained on the GitHub page where you can get the models. So this is my look of disapproval. Elemental pool. Elements. The true treasure of planet and moon are drawn to your being. Is that the one I just got? Or maybe Eternal Harvest. Ooh, abandoning them in their weapons. That sounds fun. Let's do that. Replaying it. So, did you do any of the New Game Plus on out on Starfield yet? So, I'm going to go over here. Come on, let me have the mouse. I'm going to grab this tab out of my browser. See where to go to get Vulture's Roost. Jaffa system, roughly in the middle of the thing. Okay, Starfield, Jaffa system. Show me a map. Show me the map. Load the map. Uh. Why are you no loading? Oh. Hardcore gamer dot whatever's. So it's in the middle. And it's orange. And I have a mod that actually shows the colors. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Jaffa. Just a specific Jaffa Jif Four Mining Colony. Okay, Jaffa Four. Vulture's Roost. It says I've already been there. What? Maybe it's repopulated with baddies so we can have fun again. Why did I not land there, game? Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Solomon. I keep putting off doing a video about that. I want to do a, a series of tests. I can't give you a little bit of a sneak preview that I had to install, I had to uninstall CUDA and install an older version of it to get that card working. Seems Ecliptic has been hiring recently. It changed the creator's piece. Oh yeah, that's the one I wanted to try. Never mind. Let's see if there's any dudes. Yeah, there are. Haha! <laughs> Made you all drop your weapons. Um. And he wants to fight me, so let's go to my weapons and unequip. Where is it? Where is it? Fight. <laughs> he just passes out. Drop your guns. Who has a gun? Where are you at? Oh wait, Andrea, you're allowed to have a gun. Drop that weapon. Drop your gun, guy. Eh, he runs away. Finish him. No, can't finish him. His health is too high. Whoa, that's a big explosion. Yeah. Prank. Prank. Take a nap. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon. There we go. Now. Fight. Ah, he fell off. Toss. Oh, I gotta go back to my thing and monitor the stream. Okay, good. It's. Quit shooting at me! We're not playing that game right now. We're playing punchy punch game. Yeah, take a nap. That's what I thought. Finish 
Oh, he's already finished. Never mind. Drop your weapons! Oh. Hmm, personal groomer. Stupid health bar not being shown. <sighs> Future stinger on accident. What? All the way back here? Forgot to save. Wom. 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 Where's the next bomb? Wom, maybe. Eternal Harvest. That's what I got. Alright, what's that do? I think I can demonstrate that. I think I know what that does. Oh, and there's a Starborn ship. Jesus, quick saves. Let's go mess with their stuff. If Todd Howard will let me use my modded boost pack to get over there. And by modded, I mean I modded the game. Because Todd Howard won't let you go anywhere quickly. Without the game crashing. We really do push the technology, so you may need to upgrade your PC for this game. Shut up, Todd Howard. Inaccessible. You can't go inside. You can only get inside one of these if you get up to that door right when it lands. What's all that noise? And pew pew.
I wonder what happens if I make Starborn drop their weapons. Where are you guys at? You trying to be invisible? Drop your weapon. Ha! <laughs> They're trying to be invisible and punch me. Blue helmet. So, let's try that other power that I just got. Uh... Eternal Harvest. I think if I... do this... and then do the power... Yep. The plant grows back. Whoopty frickin' do. Is so anybody else in chat? The last thing I saw was from Solomon talking about one of my shorts. Hey, Al. Thank you for letting me know so that I know the chat's not broken. Did he say hosh posh? It's not on Creator's Peace. Or whatever it is. Yeah, it's Creator's Peace. Take a nap! Exploded something. Engaging hostile. So Andrea's got my back while I make people drop their guns and and I play this weird game of punching them. What a weird thing. You got a, a bunk on the same floor as stuff over there. But you can't get over there from over here. Unless you mod your jetpack. Like that.
What's that coffee mug say on it? Let's go around. Y'all. I'm a house Varun spy. Shh. Which is funny, it's because she was a house Varun spy. Anyways. Lore. No, I cannot blow holes through walls. That would be really cool, though. And it would make this game crash because everything in Bethesda is memorized. Well, until this game, when they started doing procedurally generated stuff, whatever you would do to the environment would be saved on your game save. And it would eventually make your game crash because it's trying to remember too much. But that would be totally sweet. There was a PlayStation 2 game that did that, that let you blow holes through walls. I don't remember what it was called, but it was on Mars. It was set on Mars. And you're a miner that had, like, ironically, this game, you're a miner. But in that game, you're, you were a miner, and you found out the native aliens on Mars were being used as slaves. And you end up trying to break them free and and expose the evil corporation. And if you got certain weapons, they could change the environment because they were so powerful. I hear ecliptic voice. Ass. Drop your weapon. Let's fight. Fight. He runs away. Ha ha ha. He just wants to take a nap. He's like, forget it. Oh, and he gets back up. What? Unaccountable boot volume. Are you talking? To yeah, that means um, you probably installed Windows with an extra drive plugged in. Don't do that. It's something... I don't know if you did that. Does your the device... Did it start having that problem after you did something to Windows? That's the first question, Corey. Ha <laughs> ha! Toss. I don't know what made that get tossed. I heard something. Yeah, that was an oxygen tank exploding. You can succeed at that before we are discovered. Oops. I wanted to look at it, not take it. Is it any good? 65. Why do I have this Varun one on? Sixty-six basic boost pack. Eighty-eight. I don't want power boost pack. Constellation ninety-six for the explorer. That's what I want. No, no, no. Take the deep seeker, and then give me back the explorer. And then... Oh. Then just don't waste your time with that. What you're trying to do, you have to install Windows on it fresh. And how old is it? Do you know what year? Yeah, I hear that. I am that. Initiating combat. Instantly takes a nap. Combat 
initiating nap time. Come back here, Mr. Runaway. You're not taking fire, you're taking punches. Jesus, quick saves. You know what? He got tossed. Tossed. Don't see any succulents anywhere. Alright, first tell me, do you have a Windows Media flash drive? Corey. Can't do anything without one of those. I don't care about contraband. Because if when I tell you the next step, you need to have a Windows Media boot drive ready. And it also tells me if you're actually where you think... No, let me phrase that different. It actually tells me if you're at the screen that you should be at based off what you're saying. Because sometimes people say things, they don't realize what they're saying means something else. Alright, having a disk drive doesn't answer my question. Do you have a Windows bootable disk in that drive?
You don't know if you have a Windows bootable drive. That's why you can't fix it. it you can't, it's like saying, I'm trying to install an engine in this car that I just bought from the junkyard. Because it doesn't have an engine in there. So I ask you, do you have an engine to put in it? No, I don't know. Don't mess around with uh, trying to create a disk. You're going to need a blank flash drive. And also, do you know how old the laptop is? Because I asked that question earlier. I thought if I went this direction, there was some more on the other side of that thing. Oh, a hard target. That's nice. Don't want it, though. Mission incomplete. <laughs> Any hoosers? Jesus, quick saves. Let's do some side missions, side quests. Yep, yeah, uh, install Windows, yes. Yes, you need installation media. Um, let me double check the Google, use my Google knowledge. Windows. Creation media? But do you know how old the laptop is? Because I need to know if this is going to work on it. Media creation tool, that's what it is. They have 7, 8.1, 10, and 11. Um, you probably want 10 because Windows 11 is garbage. But the laptop has to be 2016 or newer to, for it to work, okay? 2016 or newer. And you can't see this page because my face is blocking it. it says, all right. Create installation media for Windows. And it looks like this. I'll actually throw it in chat for you. If I... Well, let me scroll down to this chat because there's an ad blocking it. Well, the flash drive is going to save you time and frustration. 
I have, uh, that's a good question, Salman, because I'm always making Laura's, except for the last two weeks, because I've been teaching myself Dream Booth, and I took a break from Dream Booth to do a little bit of learning about low cons. Do you know what low cons are? I'll talk to Imogene. See what she's doing now that she's her her name was cleared at the office. It's a 10. Sweet. That means the license key for Windows 10 is embedded in the motherboard in what's called the UEFI. And uh, neon. when you get the, the Aurora has built. when you get that Windows 10 installation media from Microsoft's website, you don't have to buy Windows because there's a license key already in the laptop. And Solomon, uh, uh, you'll see some of the results of the low con I was working on in the video when I have it come out probably next week. I filmed it last night. It took me all week to get it filmed. It's a tips and tricks part two for automatic 11.11. But it took a while to get everything set up on my computer so I could film it. You've certainly shaken things up around here. I still can't believe Ularu tried to frame me. I can. An obvious misjudgment on my part. But now that's all in the past. It's time to get back to your typical day to day. It's nice to see your recent experiences haven't soured you on the company. Now, since you are new, you've been dealing with people, but most of our assignments are generated on the mission board. The board holds any available assignments that our techs have pieced together, and I've approved. Questions? I got a question for you, Salman. Um, don't throw this in chat right now. If you can remember... Well, yeah, you can throw it in chat right now. Never mind, because if you throw it in chat right now, I'm going to write it down. When you do the low cons, how do you, click, how do you calculate the number of repeats? Because it's different than Laura. Or it can be different. And epochs and batch size. I need all those numbers because in my previous videos, people say, no, you do X and Y, or you do Y and Z, or you do X and Z, but they won't tell me why. All the numbers are important. Uh, and the fourth one is the number hey, of are images. We talking or what? No. Give me a second. I'm, I'm talking to my friend in the chat. Okay, anyways. <laughs> total images in the data set this first number I need to a number of repeats you chose batch size and epochs those are the four numbers I need because if you leave one of those numbers out then I can't repeat your success thanks no but try to see that as an improvement since I certainly do the mission board is more efficient for both of us yeah it's just because the quest is over It still says talk to her. Why? Turn around animation. I'm certainly shaking things up. I still can't believe. Ah, oh, saying the same stuff as before. Really? Get back to work. Good back to and see I'd you back in the it's office. Good to be back if I hadn't returned to a mountain of paperwork. Now, since you are new, you've been dealing with people, but most of our assignments are generated on the mission board. The board holds any available assignments that our techs have pieced together, and I've approved. Questions? That makes your job a lot easier. <laughs> I wish. Assignment approval isn't exactly riveting work. With your promotion, you've earned yourself an office, so whenever you're ready, you can find your own personal mission board inside. I have an office. And for that perk of them all, you're free to make your own hours. 
Oh, and uh, congratulations, of course. Thanks. I'll see you around. I've always made my own hours. I was thinking that. It's been well noted, yes. But now you're officially free to come and go as you please. Go check out the board. And if you have any questions, I suppose... In I VR. Have an open door policy. Oh, that must be totally chill. For you. Watching YouTube in VR. All right, I gotta go check out my office. Well, it's across the hall from Imogene. It's not too bad. I get a safe and I get stuck by my desk and can't get out because Bethesda. Ah, I'm stuck, Todd Howard. They really do push the technology, so you may need to upgrade your PC for this game. Shut up, Todd Howard. Got some bullets, some digi picks. Some other bullets. And other bullets under the bullets. And bu under those, and under those, and under... Whoa. And then... What the heck? Like, multi-spawned weapons on top of each other. That I don't even care to have. I don't even get a functional computer, but I get a chair to pretend like I have one. Okay. No succulents? I want succulents! Mission board. Hack Laredo firearms. Pl plant evidence. Evidence. Sabotage Laredo firearms. Okay. We're gonna go do sabotage, and I can't use the sabotage stinger because it demonetized me last week. Boo. I need to make a shorter version of it. And... One fifty inch screen. Well, you said VR. I thought you were talking about a VR like helmet or whatever. I spent significant time here meeting with smugglers. Brings back memories. Well, you can start by not standing in the in front of the entrance blocking uh, you hackers. On the I mean, you customers that are coming in here. Thank you again Talk for all you've Lance done for the retreat. Now, with, I think you'll find that we carry... Here's what I have in stock right now. Oh, yeah, 40 mil. Sweet. The UC can't be that bad, can it? Meet all sorts in Aquila City. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be empty? It's because they have little outposts everywhere. Wait, before I hack that, gotta make sure nobody's looking. Yeah, he that guy is a zombie. I want more 40 mil ammo. Do you got? Yeah, you got a chair. All vendors got a chair. 
stop loading an ad and blocking the chat, YouTube. My grandma thinks she got it when, uh, Ansel Lenovo. Back when Lenovo actually carried- what model is it? It's written on the- um, just under the screen. Just above the keyboard. Aquila is one of the oldest cities in the settled systems. Remember, every gun when you and Miss Lance distance, let's get you set up. More 40 mil, yay! These are the ammo for the grenade launcher. Please, I'm pleased you chose to visit. Yes, of course. The Prime. Head Ranger. All the Laredo weapons are weird. Charlie, aka Elemental Play, sent me a video <laughs> that said all the things wrong with all the weapons in Starfield, and they went only went over the ones with projectile normal combustion. They didn't do any of the energy weapons. But anyways, the all of the Laredo weapons were all like weird and they shouldn't work the way they're designed. Hey, you're clear of the stretch. Lots of crime over there. Oh, let's read this. Read this thing that someone's showing me here. Okay, here, and then just switch to this. Locon. Images 82, 9, 19 repeats. Which is 82 times 19. Okay, you, you aim for 1,500. Okay, just like Laura's. 10 Epoch, batch size 3. Great, of course, ingredient accumulation steps 3 is, like, the best one. Hmm. Epochs. Did you do... No, my, my, my next question is, did you do more than one Locon? Or is that just one of them? 82. 82 images is a lot. Tenny, Tenny Pock, Batch 3. I've read that about Locons. Uh, low that 3 was a good for the batch size. I might try that. And then have it output a Locon every 100 steps. And then look at the tensor board to decide which ones I'm going to try. Because that's what I've been doing. Because the tensor board will tell you the loss. Plant the arc device. I'm already there. Just do your business and move along. You know, I went to chef school. Exactly where I saw myself. Actually, before I do that, just in case he does see me. Jesus, quick saves. 
Oh, min S and R gamma. Because I heard in min S and R gamma, you want to be one. And what do you mean by 80 QQ? And I heard SNR Gamma was had, had something to do with helping you not overfit or overtrain. Am I right? Sorry to ask you two questions at once. How quickly can you get that done? Yeah, I, yeah, but Corey's not talking about um, stable diffusion. And I asked him, what does he mean by that? Colors and overfitting. Okay. Yeah, colors are important, and... They're, I don't remember what, what, but Dream Booth has a thing for colors, too. Now I have homework to do. Uh, what are we doing? We're planting evidence. Evidence. I think I got them. What do you call them? Oh, I thought he was going to say hives. Oh, 80 Q is a double Q. Okay, let's see. Lenovo 80 QQ. So it's an idea pad. Give me a bigger picture. Images. That's at E16. Show me the 80 QQ. Hmm, decent looking. What year does it say? <sighs> what year released? All right, let's try this. Uh, chat GPT. Make sure I'm logged in on another screen so I don't dox myself. Twenty fourteen. Okay, two years before Windows Ten. It might still work though. So the SNR Gamma, yeah, someone told me to try that, and I tried it on Laura, and it did not help me. Maybe because I was at one, like someone recommended, instead of five, like you said. Guides and manuals. Warranty, safety, hardware, maintenance. I, sometimes Lenovo has these PDFs you can find with all the different variants. Like the different CPUs and stuff, which is super helpful because if you find out the CPU is a PGA, you can upgrade it. But, 151B is what it is. Lenovo PDF.
Hide advance. Go to the page. You cannot visit right now because of stuff. You're a jerk. Let me go there. All right. Chrome is letting me go there. Just needed this P That's the same PDF? Dang it. It's like a one page and it's landscape if you ever find it, Corey. All these freaking languages and never getting to the point. Oh, and you got one of these chargers. Those are cool. They're super hard to break the thing on si inside the laptop. The only downside is it looks like a USB port. NVIDIA, whatever, GPU. DDR3L. DDR3L so good. Uh, you got two sodium slots. But what's the max? I don't know. I'm geeking out on a laptop right now. Lenovo... 100, 150, 1 BD. Mm. Max memory. 8 gigs the max. I hope that's not because they expect you to run Windows 7 32-bit. Compatible RAM. So it's it's max four gigs per slot. What is maximum RAM? Windows 7 32 bit. Four gigs. Okay, never mind. Good, 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 good. Sometimes it's hardware locked at four gigs and you only get like three and a half of it. Because of 32 gigabyte. Uh, 32 bit CPUs could only use 3 point whatever gigs. Non Intel Wi Fi, whatever. Mini PCIe. It's a BGN. Uh, at least it's not just B and G. Bluetooth is possible. I wish it would tell me the CPU. Processor. See the system properties of your computer. Yo, tell me the different C the CPUs it comes with. It does have a CD slot. So, sometimes you can find a mod where you can put another SOD SSD in there. You might not even wait, want to waste your time installing Windows on its hard drive, but instead grab a cheap SSD and stick that in. If you get a SATA SSD, that's S-A-T-A, and take the hard drive out, which is right here. Oh, I'm not even full screened. Take the hard drive out, which is right here. And carefully remember where each screw goes and what direction this little cage is and, and put a SSD in there. See that? <laughs> Anyways, that's enough talking about that. What were we doing? Let's go back to the mission. I've been in this building before. If you want to talk, you'll have to schedule an appointment. That's fine. Jesus, quick saves.
What am I supposed to be doing? I mean, we cannot just break it open. Plant the confidential files. Okay. Uh, what? Okay, that's easy enough. Let's go to Elios. Oh, cool. SDXL Laura. I used some SDXL Lauras on my tips and tricks video that's going to be coming out next week. I need. I do wish they would finish developing the training tab in Automatic 11 so that we can train SDXL embeddings. This is, last I checked, it wasn't working. Last I tried, anyway. So that's what I want to do. I want to do all kinds of stuff. I want to use Deform. Have you seen Deform yet, Salmon? Tell me that. Oh, that's cool, Corey. At least you'll have a uh, light gaming I laptop when you get it working. But maybe get your parents or somebody to spend 50 no bucks on a cheap SSD. You don't know how much I miss the sound of power tools. Bram, bram. happening through our neck of the woods, stranger? Something like Never that. told me about your summons. Our uh, donor wasn't too hard on you, I hope. This shoe's friendly. She can be a hammer when the situation requires. But this project holds a pretty special place in her heart. So I'm sure she was feeling grateful. Well, thanks to your little chat, our donor's doing everything she can to upend the various roadblocks in our way. We're in the process of vetting more security, looking at some additional and more agreeable contractors. Why don't you turn around we'll when you talk to me? this place closer to becoming a reality. Opening still a ways off. But we'd be going nowhere if you hadn't wandered in. Just happy to help. That makes two of us. Thank you again, love. Love. You, our doors will always love. Be open. She's trying to heart shape me. Heart shapes. Remember, Corey? I eventually will do a video on Deform. Uh, before I started teaching myself how to train Laura's, I, I did Deform on one of my music music tracks that I have on my music channel. And it was okay, but there were glitches and stuff that I'll go over whenever I do a video on that. Diff Animate. Hmm. I think I remember that one. There's so many animate tools, it's insane. Did she give me a missing? Or am I just done talking to her? Still pushing for this one. I... I'll be around. I guess that's just it? Am I done? Okay. Location of the ECS constant. Whatever that is. Um, another timestamp. 121. Yeah. What are you doing to me, game? Show me where I'm supposed to go. Oh, it's an orbit. Alright, let's look for it. There it is, right in front of me. Now that's Parima, too.
Already at this location. What do you want me to do, game? It just says location of the easiest constant. All right, all right, Googles. Wrong browser. Someone giving me a solution. Contest. <sighs> Nobody answers the question. I hate that about forums and threads. Just tell me the solution. It's bugged, I guess. Still pointing me to poor Emma's system, even though the ship has jumped. So it's not supposed to be here. Okay, that's a glitch. Alright, next one. Because poor Emma was where I told I gave him the, the grab drive and they were supposed to leave. Rafael Aguero. One twenty four. Well, it might have broke down because if you're talking about the laptop, Corey, it might have broke down because of a uh, failing hard drive. All right, answer me, Solomon. Is diff animate take a single image and then animate it? Or is it take a video, or is it video to video where it breaks it up into frames and then applies a prompt to each frame and then makes a, turns that back into a video? It's good to see you again. I was wondering if you were going to stop by. Thanks again for getting me back to New Atlantis. The viewport still makes their drinks just the way I remember. I barely recognized I you. I recognized myself either after a shower and a haircut, but the change has made me feel more like the man I was last time I was in New Atlantis. Video to video. I'm still a little oh, shaky, but I'm doing much better than the last time we met. And my engineering skills are no worse for wear. Have you given any more thought to taking me on as an engineer for your crew? Sure, come aboard. Um, let me back over to that computer. I'm going to put you on one of my random outposts that I'm not having, even paying attention to. I'm sorry. Maybe, Corey. Maybe. We don't know if, if Windows is just corrupted. But, yes, you don't want a hard drive because there's too freaking slow. So just replace it. Get an SSD. Collect my new ship. What? It has prompt traveling? Prompt traveling! Now, you're talking about diff animate. Do you mean animate diff? 
Because I have notes on animate diff. And what is prompt traveling? Deform has a way where you can say, at frame number X, use this prompt. And keep using that prompt until you get to frame number Y. So, for example, if you wanted a certain prompt at frame 30 and then a different prompt at frame 100. And as long as you don't have a different prompt for every frame in between. Is that a ship that's loosey-goosey over here? Oh, it's my Stroud Oakland ship. Hail. Don't get a hard drive. Hard drives are spinning rust. Hey, Charlie. Can you please tell Corey not to buy a hard drive for this new laptop? Well, new used laptop he got from his grandma. So you are talking about Animate Diff. Now, now you're... Give me another reason to learn about it. Because I've been watching videos and writing notes. I still don't know what prompt trialing is. Really? The, my brand new ship is three stories? I hate these suicide things. Oh, and I go down one floor and what? It's just I have to go down another floor. Oh, it's four stories. And there's no succulents on the floor in this ship. I need succulents on the floor in my ship. Night owl. Okay, okay. Thank you, Charlie. Crash. Did I just crash into into the um the asymmetric? Yeah, there she is. Jiminy Christmas, this ship is huge mongus. It's got no power on the grab drive. Got no third weapon. That's cool that animation stuff does that. The one music video I did, what I did was I dropped the video back in my video editor and changed the frame rate of the editor to match the frame rate I was planning on making into forum and then went to the spot where the music was doing something where I wanted my prompt to be a certain thing and then I would write down that frame number because you, you can change the time index in Vegas to frames
Elemento plays is correct, Corey. So there's my new ship from Stroud, Euclid, when I did that side mission. Let's use my hacked boost pack so I could see more of it. Let's go check it out on the thing. What a massive beast. Cargo is blocked by my friends. Let me back over to the game. 1,000, no, 12,436 is what I'm using out of 5,325. Boring. Get back to my asymmetric. This ship. And it has a capacity of 23,190. Even though the other ship looked more beastly. I have better cargo and landing pads to support the heavier cargo units on it. I don't want to run the Red Mile again. I don't want to go to Xenofresh and make drugs. All right, Sergeant Yumi. What time is it? One thirty-five. Mr. Beast. A solid state drive, Corey. We keep saying solid state drive. We told you in previous streams. Get hard drive out of your brain. The only time you want a hard drive these days is if, is if you want super huge storage. Like if you're a YouTuber and you need to save all of your assets that are used to make your videos. Or if you're doing AI stuff and you have these large language models and, and image models you have to save somewhere. Because they're gigs and gigs and gigs. And you have hundreds of them. Oh, I'm already on the planet where Sergeant Yumi is. So that's going to save me a little bit of of headache. Oh, sweet, Solomon. Give me some work, Sergeant Yumi. Oh, yeah, give me some work. Open your mouth when you talk. Your, your teeth are stuck together like you're wearing rubber bands on braces. Yeah, I know, Salman. You're totally right. Ever since... Ever since a couple of weeks ago when SDXL Turbo came out, that is the only thing I use for testing my SDXL Loras. If I want to use a slow SDXL model, I do it with Loras that I've tested and I know work on Turbo. You know, because I don't have all day. All right. Let's see what this guy's job is because I wasn't paying attention to him. It just says, oh, keeping the peace. Keeping, talk to Agent Plato. Due to staffing issues, uh, blah, 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 blah. You need to talk to this other guy. Okay. <laughs> First world problems.
Oh, thank thank you, Charlie, for helping out Corey with that. A first time SSD user should always be sent to a good SSD so I don't have to like worry about it. I am thirsty. I'm going to do a quick break and grab a drink. Charlie, you're so... <laughs> you gonna drink your piss? Well, the message said potty drink or something else, blah, 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 and it's supposed to be a joke that just goes on and on and on and on. Where am I going? Going upstairs, okay. Shortcut! The game doesn't want you to know about because they never put a mission marker over here. <coughs> All right, RPG NPC guy saying random thing. Make 40. I volunteered. Evidence. Just tell me where it is. Alright, I remember this from my other playthrough that I accidentally deleted my game save. Really? Why? 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 I've been struggling to find meaning in my life. Why don't you tell me why you want to leave New Atlantis? Oh, there it is. 
Oh, okay. You seem a bit tired. She does not seem tired. Ugh. You said Tara twice in the same sentence. I gotta leave. You can't hear the game? You are right. It got muted for some reason. Check, 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 check. Right about there, probably. And my voice is never gonna peak. Okay. And my voice. Okay. That's starting to peak. I. <laughs> I hate how OBS does that. When you go over to, to fix one thing on it, and then your mouse gets near a volume slider and mutes something. Oh, thanks, Solomon. At least one drink, right. That actually pays for... Like, six of these for me. I I really like the, the zero sugar vitamin water because the sweeteners they use are safe. On your body. Wendy's has it. I had Wendy's last night with the investigation going? my friend Al. He was in chat earlier. Still have questions? Go ahead. Good work, Captain. Suffice to say, you were overqualified for this job. But given our staffing problems, I'm still glad you showed up. <clears throat> that being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? It wasn't a sign. It was... A quest marker, but anyways. Don't just recruit, don't recruit people off the street. Well, I have you now, so I probably won't hire another person for a while. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I... He talks too slow and he talks like his teeth are stuck together with rubber bands. Ah, if it isn't my favorite part-time security officer. Give me some work. I've got nothing at the moment. That's it? You got one mission, and it was just to go to another part of New Atlantis, get a package? Well, go to a guy, talk to the guy, go to pick up a package, and then come here and give you the package. Well, you could just walk over there and get the package! But you said you can't do it in your uniform. Change clothes! Time has slowed down since you All right, anyways. It still says talk to Sergeant Yumi face. Out, he still has a quest marker on his I head. You, Captain? Uh, it's a lot of work. Well... Say, I've got nothing at the moment. Are you, you know freaking creating me? All right, let's do clover. Six. Where's the time? He has invisible braces. Oh, those are expensive. Have I mentioned that I am not fond of seafood? Private sector. Not sure if those Varun zealots live in space. I was just here earlier. Lovely day for it. Again. Look, 
You can tell Mr. Okaribo that I'm doing everything I can. Blood from a stone, if you'll pardon the expression. Quit wiping me your desk and look at me. That's not what I'm here for. Oh, my lord. You aren't here about Mr. Okadibo's debt to Kelkor. Oh, this no. is so embarrassing. And what's up with the echo? Let me start over. Let me start my over. My name's Clover McKenna, but you can call me Chloe. I was born in Ireland, you see. Worst. Even though Ireland has been toasted with the rest of the earth. The earth. They would say the earth. Don't, don't say sorry to me. That's kind of you. This mess with Mr. Okadibo over at the Neon Mining League has really thrown me off my game. Why, Charlie, is the, your, the laptop you bought using a SATA SSD? If only you knew. Mr. Okadigbo owes a substantial debt to Keldkor. I've given him more than enough time to try and come up with the money, but my father's patience is running out. Frankly, I don't know how much longer I can stall. Maybe I can help you in recovering the debt. You'd be willing to help out. I guess. That's awfully kind of you. Awfully kind of you. Just because I work for a megacorp doesn't mean I don't have a heart. Saburo, uh, I mean, Mr. Okadigo. Would you quit He's doing the wipe the desk animation? Especially in this city. You're gonna but burn a hole through help. the desk. But he's too proud to accept any money from me. Maybe he'd listen to someone like you? What are you... Fine. Oh, that'd be splendid. Just... <sighs> amazing. If you can get his debt off my conscience, I'd be grateful. It's been on my mind so much. And don't worry about payment. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. McKenna always keeps... Alright. Have a fine day. Hard look. My lucky charms. It's clean, it's clean. It's clean, it's clean! Move to another spot on the desk! A guard just told me to back off. That's an order, not a suggestion. I didn't even do anything. This game is so mean sometimes. Don't forget, we sell all types of raw materials as well. I'm confident my fellow business people will see the benefits of the crop. Oh, she did. <clears throat> Miss McKenna is very kind, but I cannot accept. It is my responsibility to pay the loan. If I cannot, then what? Fair enough. I am glad you understand. Let's talk about your debt then. Let's take care of it a different way. Ah, yes. You are here on behalf of Miss Mc... Is there any hope to save the Things business? Things have improved, my friend. Thanks to you. But even when business is good, there are still... The it's debt, already did a different... on the other hand, is constant. Because I did another quest to help save his business. I am sorry, my friend, but I can do no... When a man signs a contract, he must... Don't let pride get in the way is a good one, but I've got eight bars at the bottom. The bank has more than enough money. Taking the offer hurts no one. I do agree, Keltcorp. Um, diplomacy, plus three. I can see that. Don't let pride get in the way. Oh, maybe you're right. As much as it means to me, my pride, it seems I have been too prideful. I have always believed that if a person works hard and makes no trouble, they can achieve any goal. 
but in reality, no one can do it alone. I am grateful that you and Miss McKenna have reminded me of this. Tell her I will accept her generosity, and I will find a way to repay her kindness. Alright, that sounds a like a good... Day, my friend. He's one of my favorite NPCs in the game, because he's they have his his lore yeah. that he started a business to sell What's up? Uh like ores and like iron or aluminum or whatever you need. And he wasn't having a good business. And after I discovered this little side quest to help his business, I came here a lot when I was building outposts to get some supplies and materials for stuff. And it's actually one of the top three places you want to go in the whole game if you need materials. All right. You're wondering what that smell is. That's me. You wonder what that smell is. That's me. All right, let's check Welcome the desk. Nice and clean, but it's lacking of succulents. I need succulents. Does anybody have any succulents in this office? Can't talk. I've got a deadline coming up. Your computer's not even on. Shut up. No succulents. Toss. If you're Toss. here to buy, I'm afraid we only sell direct to retailers. Something I can do for you, love. That's fantastic. I was worried he'd take it the wrong way, so I'm glad you were able to convince him. I'll arrange for the funds to be transferred immediately. Hopefully Father will forgive the late fees. And if he doesn't, I can always reimburse them when he retires. In any case, thank you. And here, for your efforts. All right, what's next? 15528 Borealis Oops. Oh, I'm already on neon, it's Well Elemento place and that two SSD is only a few grams of weight. A SATA SSD is also pretty light because there's no metal discs inside, just chips. But an M.2 is even lighter because you don't have as much of a metal frame. Because most of a SATA SSD is hollow. I need to make my dancing stinger. Oh, if I ever get around to editing Book of Emo, there's a scene where they dance. I can make a stinger out of that. That'd be so funny for this game. There's a bunch of characters singing, or uh, dancing in front of a green screen so I can co composite them into a my time. A video together. And they all have ridiculous ways to dance, and they're unique. Where am I supposed to go? Like, the quest is like floating out in the middle of nothing. What am I supposed to do right now? Oh. Is he dancing? Oh, he's dancing downstairs.
Because <laughs> your old laptop had all that flex. Where is he? Now it's telling me to go upstairs. Having fun? I'm going to use no clip, Bethesda. No, I not at the moment. I'm trying to get around your NPC faces. Oh, wait, wait, I forgot the cat. Five cat. Ugh, gross bathroom. You good? I'm All right. I'm going to right now. Oh. She has an interesting voice, kind of cute. It's slow, okay? I'm trying to talk to you. Yeah, sorry. I don't do autographs. I don't want an autograph. Yeah? Okay, cool. Cool. Most people that come up to me just want an autograph for a picture. And after I've been modding all night, it gets really annoying. What? Where did it put the display capture I was trying to scooch? Ah. Uh, disappeared it. Oh, goodness sakes. Hey, I have to get my set ready. Can we hurry this along? Hold on. The frick? It... You sinking or sounding? Are those words? I said, hold on. Wrong one. I'll just use this people are so right now. I'm spaced out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not spaced out. I'm dealing with a glitch. In OBS. No need to get upset. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry. I'm just pretty bummed out right now. My music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing. And someone on ripped me off. And someone ripped me Total off. Drag. I'll, I'll find it. Oh man. Wow. That would be so cool. Yeah, please. You just, I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. Uh huh. Just one thing get rid of these pokey things. The rest of the outfit is fine. The pokey things have to go. If, just exactly. keep playing your music. So. Anything you can do to help is appreciated. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. 
She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's okay. a working great fine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? It disappeared it again! OBS! Micah knows how to make a drink. Here for a drink? A chimera. Plenty of space in the member's lounge today. I see. I'd be willing to divulge this information for the right price. What, not getting punched in the face? Do her a favor. She is an icon, among other things. Fine. I'll waive the usual fee. The man you want goes by the name of Stratos. You'll find him at Madame Savage's. He's what you would call a fan of Miss Borealis's works. Or maybe fanatic is a more accurate term. Either way, he's the one you want. But you didn't hear it from me. Hear what? You're Over always welcome here. be doing this than getting mixed up with the gangs. Chunks, chunks, chunks! Chew your chunks! Oh man, this game. Uh, this is why I go no clip all the time. All the other games have multi point uh, quest marker thingy. What's it? What is part of the game they developed for no reason? 
Like, where does it go? It goes nowhere. Don't freeze! Hey, Stratos. Oh, yeah. I love her music so much. Okay, give it back. You a fan of Borealis, too? It's all right. I vibe with that bird hard. She's a beast on the beat. And I love her. Got a track in me head right now. Boom. 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 Yeah, you hear it? It's bloody mood, isn't it? I just need some more. Aurora Why are you British? Bobbing with the wave. Find that. Zap. There's no accents in space. The Expanse. That's the show that is set in the future where people live in space, and the accents they have make sense. Unlike this game, they don't make sense. Yeah, which is why it pains me to be here and not... I can't stand being away from that place. But I can't listen to Borealis if I'm not zoning. That bird's song deserves the best eye Aurora can fly. Huh? She needs her stuff back. Lady, there's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. As a biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. You're about to get punched in the face. How can you steal from her? I didn't steal anything. Borealis always says her music belongs to her fans. So I just took what was mine. Oh, you need two punches in the face. That's not how it works. I don't know. I think it is. I'm not giving up this... Persuasion. Why would I part with the one thing that connects me to her? Oh my gosh. Got eight thingies. She'd be grateful? Really? Diplomacy? I really hope so. And you're a super fan. Yeah. I, I do want what's best for her. Why'd you stand up in the middle of a conversation? You're right. Okay, you can have the slate. But next time I stop by, I want to hear a mod so sick it beats the piss out of my brain. Beats the piss out of my brain. You sound like Matt Pat. I'm talking a sentence and you know emphasizing like a random word That's in the middle. Succulent. Take it easy. Any other succulents? I take all your succulents. I wonder in the non-random or procedurally generated locations, it when you take the succulents, do, are they taken permanently? Savages place. So many space bars. Let's all go to the space bar. Let's all go to the space bar. Let's all go to the space bar and get ourselves a snack. What?
Tanja, <laughs> she, she says she feels like she knows me. I talked to you like a few minutes ago. A fan, really. Although, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. They can get pretty possessive. Doesn't matter if it's my things or my time. Sorry, you have to deal with that crap. Yeah, it's not all bad. Love can be toxic, but can be beautiful. Sometimes, people just confuse the two. But, sounds like it all worked out in the end. I've got my slate, which means the people will get their trip. That's what this slate is. A still wave. A feeling frozen in time. And I appreciate you bringing it back to me. Change your outfit! Soon safe. All right, what's this Juliana one? All right, this is not the one where she wants you to scare the tourists. Because that's a dumb mission. So this is new to me. Oh, walking by her started Papa another quest. Really like me talking to the tourists, but how else am I going to learn about? <sighs> this is a boring assignment, but I painted that way. What can I do for you? If you take one of those stupid tours, make sure to follow the rules. They're for your own safety and my sanity. It's a harsh world, but as long as there's no breathable air, New Hampshire was an early. Don't worry so much. I could use medical I supplies. Have a whole lot, but hope. I guess. What's my mission? What am I supposed to do with her? Okay, let's... What's going on here? Hmm. We have fewer people. For anything else, we can... It's a harsh... There's no breathable air. New homestead was an earth. Don't worry so much. Be well. Speak with G I U L I A N A. Speak Starfield, speak with Juliana. That's this is the tourist one? No. I don't even want to do this mission anyways, because you scare tourists. And it's glitching. 
What about Joyce? Let's go talk to Joyce instead. Oh, a whole bunch of succulents on a shelf! Succulent, succulent, succulent! Succulent, succulent! Succulent, succulent, succulent! Like, how do I get those in the back? I can't reach them! This other bucket's in the way! This thing's in the way! What is this? I don't care how hardy you are, I want those succulents! Can I shoot them? Jesus, quick saves. Hey, be careful not to point that thing at me. I'm not pointing it at you, I'm pointing at the succulent. Toss. Succulent! I'm spending my valuable 40 or er, 45 ACP's bullets because they're more precise. Succulent! Papa, you're always talking about how important it is to preserve our traditions. But why do we have to farm? How is that part of our tradition? Well, we tend to farm. Oh, more succulents! So good! Cooking over at the brown horse. Enjoy our visit here. It's not easy keeping these ancient turbines going. I wish more people realized that. I could use some more help fixing. Sure, I'll right. help you with the brownouts. You know what to do. Just... Nope, that's not the one. This one does not have ice on it and does not turn. It's so disappointing.
Don't stay outside for too long here on Titan. You'll freeze solid without the proper protection. <laughs> no, I have not played Mass Effect's games, but I heard they were good. We take vandalism seriously but here. You don't mess with history. I can't remember. Are they, if they're third person, I can't do that. Like the third person hiding behind cover stuff on PS3? I'm not sure. I did, however, see a guy that trolled and made fun of Mass Effect by taking all the cutscenes and doing his own voiceovers. And I still remember his voice in my head going like, I'm an expert with phasers and lasers. I'm really glad you're helping us out. Good work. I should be able to take it from here. Thank you. I hope it wasn't too much of a pain in the butt. Yeah, I don't mind old games if I get into them. I have a bunch of old games that I bought uh, for my PS3 and then installed them on hard drives and never played them. 2, 20, 25, 40. Which one we do? Still says speak with Juliana. Oh, that's the other one I didn't want to do. Brownouts in the well. Let's do that one. Yeah, I can't stand third-person combat, though. It takes me out of it. I need the engagement. Security here is so visible. But there are I so many. More and it's not Sony's fault. It's not the PS3's fault. And 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 I think my theory about Mass Effect is why they did the third person was because in that generation of consoles and gaming in general, 90% of the games are first person shooters, right? So what they were trying to do is to do something different. And I remember trying to Another find one? a space shooter. This like Starfield. That's why I love Starfield so much. It's got space, uh, spaceship shooting in it. And the only game I could find was Iron Sky, and it's about Nazis on the moon. It's a really hilarious game. It's fun if you want to check it out. Corey, you have boot volume error because the operating system cannot be found on the boot volume. There's either something wrong with the hard drive or Windows is corrupted on it. So either way, you need to install Windows, except that it's a hard drive. It's They're so old and slow, just get an SSD. The SSD is not going to fix the boot volume error. Installing Windows might fix the boot volume error, but we don't know what's causing the boot volume error. Dark Souls. Yeah, Dark Souls. I have that installed on my PS3. Still have never played them. There are always about a million things to do. And I'm only one person. It's so overwhelming. Hey! Oh, you're not Garl. Sorry. I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. <laughs> We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while. And Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once. And Garl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. I could do it. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. Oh. I can contact you Elden once you Ring. get there. Hmm. Gollum. 
That looks cool! Well, they have a PC version. Um, store. Let me type! 60 bucks. Oh, that's a... 30 dogs. Dead battle over the new PvP birds. I don't care about PvP. Whoosh. Um, turn this down. Corey, do you have a precision screwdriver set? Like, uh, what's it called? I fix it is an example. It doesn't necessarily have to be I fix it, but it's a good set. You don't want to use a regular screwdriver because you'll strip the heads of the screws out and you won't ever be able to get them out. If you're still there, Salman, another so RPG I want to see. play is Final Fantasy 15. But Elden Ring is on PC, and that makes it easier for me, because eventually, if I start playing my PS3 games, I'm going to have to get my PS3 hooked up to this, but then people might complain and say stuff, and I don't want to prove that I own a game or that something just appeared on my hard drive, because I don't like p using the, the disk drive. And it's actually burned out. The disk drive is burned out on my PS3. That's the one. So Next my... one's not too far. Dead end. Right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to I just to like sell. rambling about not my life that, while right? I'm on stream. It's not about the games, really. It's about hanging out. But... I hope this is not the effort. Did I just break oh. into somebody's house for no reason? Oh, snap! You get as many games as you can that will run off of USB hard drive and install them that way. And then the rest of them you have to install on internal hard drive over FTP. And by the time I got all my games installed on it, on this PS3, its network card started messing up. <laughs> I have all those games backed up on another hard drive. Which is 
formatted for Windows. And I have a fourth hard drive that has all my license keys on it. Well, not my license keys necessarily, but once you download and you run a mod to make it match your PS3, you have to do all this work to have everything on hard drives instead of playing from discs. How do I get over there? I really need to get into those RPGs that are on PC. Okay. The final like box like Elden Ring. Should be right around there. Unfortunately, I just realized you're in for a real tangle of cabling. Like 200 years of filler dumps to rewire things. I tried to fix it. <laughs> filler dumps to rewire things. <laughs> Tapping the grid. Okay. <laughs> Starfield. Tapping the grid puzzle. I'm not good with puzzles. Last time I did a puzzle game was the 90s. Or a game with puzzles in it. It was a RPG on the PlayStation 1 called Vagrant Story. One, two, three, four. It just says one, two, three, four. Okay. Crying by the second day. Gave up on the third. Anyway, this should be a series of secondary breakers you need to deal with before you can access the junction box. I don't remember the order, but flip levers until all those circuits are powered down. Then what? Ah! One, three, four, one. One, three. No! One, three, four, one. That's not it. One, three, four, one. Uh, not so much. I am the 2D scrollers. No, I, ne I didn't even like them when I was growing up on the consoles that had them. I liked, I do, even to this day, I like RPGs that are 2D scrollers from above, like the old Final Fantasy games. Four, three, one, okay, so, come on.
Is that it? I did it on my own somehow. Well, you got it. Really well done. You saved me like a week of work. Why didn't you meet me at the monitoring station near where we met? You're right, Salma. I was about to say that, but in the next generation of consoles, they started phasing out the discs. And I'm like, thank God. Like on the PlayStation 2, I've got a bunch of PlayStation 2s, and I discovered that Sony manufactured, uh, not manufactured, they had it, the, the, the manufacturers had made the, the, the laser for the disc player, the disc reader, be the part that fails to force you to buy a new console. But if you took it all and you knew what model it was, you could just buy a new laser. And if they quit making that laser, you could buy a different model. You just had to reprogram the EEPROM. If you had homebrew, you could download a program someone made to reprogram the EEPROM on the disk drive itself. No, wait. It wasn't the disk drive. The disk drive had a ribbon cable that went down to the motherboard, and the EEPROM was on that. Anyways. And so my, my PlayStation 2 also has all my games on its hard drive. Of course, I've played all of those over the years. But getting your games working off hard drive on PS3 is a lot harder. What? I'm just trying to go to that quest marker. How do I get over there? Just a hop, skip, and a jump away. I'm... I'm walking in the sky! Glitch times! Or invisible floor. The second one. Okay. Yeah. And it isn't even going that direction. This is why I clipped through the walls, Bethesda. There we go. There's a person. That's the same person I was talking to earlier. Did I say thank you? Because oh, Metroid, you. yeah. There's no way Dude. I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. I gotta tell you about Metroid in a second. So, when I learned there was homebrew for PlayStation 2, it took me forever to figure it out. I was spending hours and hours and hours. Same thing happened with a programming task I was doing all weekend this last weekend. I would take breaks to clear my mind. And yet, okay, I give up, I'm going to bed, and it finally dawned on me what the solution was. So like this programming thing, I'm like, no, I'm going to sleep. It was like 5.30 in the morning, and I wrote down the solution on a piece of paper and went to sleep, and then when I w woke up, I then did the programming. But this is years ago, 2004, and I couldn't figure out how to get homebrew working on my PlayStation 2. And I went to lie down, and it dawned on me how to you do it. with me? And I... And I still had the whole weekend ahead of me, right? So I went back to my PlayStation 2, got it working, and then I played Super Metroid on my PlayStation 2 for like 16 hours straight. I beat it like six times. Well, not everyone would be, and I appreciate it. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power dream. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The trade authority. So, that's something Ooh. that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. I if still... you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. I still want to play the Metroid games that were on GameCube. The problem is, the same problem that you have with... Um... Super Mario 64 is that you're taking a 2D scroller concept and trying to put it into a 3D world. If you've ever played Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, that is an, that is an example of how to do it right. So I have to talk to her again. I thought I was going to Trader Authority or something. Okay. 
but so thanks to you, we've got evidence that whenever I try to play that one Metroid game. game that's on GameCube, the first one, it hurts my ball, brain because they're doing a top-down 2D concept of the map of where you're supposed to go. Just make sure this doesn't go badly. But you're seeing it from this point of view, so it's super confusing. Thanks. That means a lot. I can do the talking, I think. Just be ready for, well... Anything. What do you mean you don't mess with hardware? You talk about building a PC or what? I tried. Oh, okay, I'm following her. Because I was blibber-blabbering, talking to my friend. Metroid Fusion, I heard, was really good. Maybe after I do my first, um, my first game plus on Starfield, I should pick another game. You know, beat that game and then come back to Starfield and keep going back and forth. Until I get all my 11 game pluses done on Starfield. <coughs> come on, high school walking slow. So if I choose walk, which is that button, I walk way too slow. Hey, is she getting further away from me? Slowly but surely, yes she is, I walk way too slow. Turn off the slow walk. Evening, ma'am. Visit for Mast. How delightful. You'll have to remind me of me, dear. The Trade Authority does quite well for itself down here. And clearly they share little of the credits they make. Like, because I've been in here three times. Yes, yes, of course you are. And was it you were accusing me of with absolutely no evidence? Evidence. Evidence. From your building, Zoe. You and I both know it. And now I can prove it. I'm sorry. What? We traced the dream. Checked the grid. It led us here. You... You can't talk your way out of this. I'm going to ask you to wait. Oh, okay. I'll be right I see what you mean, Solomon. I screwed up one PS3 by installing the wrong one. There's really good guides now. There weren't before, but there's good guides on YouTube now for the PS2. Like, uh, free MC, free HD boot is really cool. If you get a hard drive and then plug it into your computer with an adapter and run a program on it. Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. Right, right. At the exactly. The, the cool fine. thing about PS2 is you can't brick it because the, avoid, it's a soft okay? mod that you're introducing by exploiting the way the PlayStation 2 boots up. So when it boots up, it checks for bootable devices. It's like what Corey's dealing with. He needs a bootable device to install Windows. Balls. Why are there balls in my chat? Um, when the PlayStation 2 boots up, it checks the hard drive, it checks the disk, and it checks the memory cards. So those are the three, there's actually a fourth one, the network. Those are the three bootable things it can use, and those are four ways that you can exploit it. Okay, you're probably right. Just need to breathe. She has the weird restless puppy dog face. You do? Well, Ms. Top Ray, is off, top I is off. I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of this. No, you're not weaseling out of this. We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate <laughs> you are the bottom. enthusiasm for your work. I'm the I top. I a little more research before <laughs> casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and I've been keeping detailed notes, which I'm... They're maybe they're running a crypto mining rig. For now, though, what do we do next? I... Wait, what? Oh, for 
for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Mm -hmm. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Mm -hmm. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? Mm -hmm. I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. Mm -hmm. With Mast's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Mm -hmm. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there. In mm -hmm. Okay, well, this is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. I can sort out the details with Zoe. Ah. All right, Bethesda. Pax. Oops. Um. Pax. Hey there. You should be getting close. Hello. Is this functional? Uh. I insist that you provide updates for any suspicious activity. Is that clear? And Zoe's here too. If you hadn't guessed, we've agreed to work together on this. Oh my gosh! All these Thanks. things. Obviously. Zoe, I know how to read. Ignore her. Head for box 45A, okay? 45A. Clunk. Oh, Ow, my ankles. Dear Bethesda, don't do this to me. Oh, I hate this. Let me hit the thingy. Thank you for trusting that the lifelong employee of Mass knows what she's talking about. And that was indeed the correct junction box. See that, Zoe? Yes, yes, fine. Let's move on. Oh, please. Okay, just making sure you saw it. So, now things get interesting. I can't find the next spot on any of my current diagrams. I'm sure you can handle whatever challenge might be associated with reaching the box. You're doing great. And I can begrudgingly confirm that she's reading them correctly. We've reached the conclusion that it must be somewhere on the surface, outside the well. Miss Reyes has suggested that this means it's somehow no longer her responsibility. I frankly don't care. I want to find this person. And here's where I begrudgingly agree with Zoe. It's not technically my problem at this point, but I want to see where this trail leads. If you head up side, I'll pull the diagrams we'll need and contact you. Okay. It won't let me interact with the thingy. Let me go up. Fast travel for the win. I could Salmon, but it would take forever because Bethesda. Bethesda doesn't give you waypoints. They just give you a quest marker. Ms. Reyes is still collecting and they intentionally make the maps a maze. The situation. Before she returns, I'm going to make you an offer. Whatever you find at the end of this path, you bring it to me first. I'll be certain that Mast gets what it needs. But I trade in valuable information. And I suspect you're going to find some. I guarantee you the trade authority will pay well. Well, that's unexpected. Powering down that junction doesn't show any other connections. Consider that as you head towards the residential district. We can't pinpoint the source yet, but it's somewhere over there. Clearly, the source must be inside that residential tower. Yeah, that would make sense. 
You know, I think I remember seeing a report about power problems on one of the upper floors. I bet it's related. See you. Hmm. Breaking in apartment, breaking in apartment, because <laughs> reasons. I could not accomplish that. All right, you said the game was Elder Scrolls. Am, is, am, I, am I right? Um, wait, I have it open in Steam. Elden Ring. So, nexusmods.com. I'm just curious. Elden Ring. Hmm. Elden Ring Mods. Right here, stupid Nexus Mods. Okay. Sword Saint. Rotten Duelist. Bikini, shut up. Soldier of God. School Knight. HUD, HUD tweaks, that's the one I'm looking for. Scaling rework. Sticky lights, whatever that means. Shadow casting light source, cool. Leggings. Pfft. Well, there's a lot of mods for Elden Ring. Let's go to Steam and put it on my wish list. Where's the button? Add to your wish list so I don't forget about it. In three years, when I feel like playing it. My guys, my guys, I got creative with the rewiring. You should have all the juice you need to run the program, my guys, nonstop. So stop messaging me. And keep the doors locked, my guys. Last thing I need is someone poking around, even if Galbank notices the missing funds, my guys. They won't even have a way to trace it, my guys. They call it a malfunction and wipe the records like they always do, my guys. Money's all digital anyway. They can literally just make as much as they want, my guys. Oh, they was doing hacks. Hacks. Is that a plant or a succulent? Oh, it's just a plant. Does this apartment have any succulents? Oh, they got a washer and dryer here? I'm jelly. I don't have washer and dryer in my house in this game. That's the hallway. What am I doing? I'm being Snoopy in some random NPC's house that probably never actually comes into their house. I gotta do a skip ad on my stream to monitor the chat. How? Succulent. Succulent. I need to not forget to put the succulents on my ship. Deliver the evidence. Evidence. What was the name of that guy to contact the job? Where the frack am I going? Before I crash the game. Jesus, quick saves. No, go down. Is this elevator gonna work this time? Oh, 
Who's cussing at me? Ranger. Thanks for all that work. I found something. You found, found some. I found some. You found some something. Evidence. You found some evidence. I found okay. evidence. You found some evidence over there. Here. Okay. Someone left some evidence. We would. So you tracked it down. You've got something to show for it. Great. I'll get this back to Mass for analysis. I'm not stupid. I know Zoe probably made you an offer. I appreciate that you didn't take it. Mm -hmm. And I'm really glad we got to work together on this. Mm -hmm. Now what? That's it? I got to talk to Sergeant Yumi's. So weird. Speak with Juliana still there. Revelation. Buried Temple. Oh, that's... No, that's not... That's the final thing to, I have to do. It still says speak with Juliana. Oh. Are they going to so, have a conversation? Looks like maybe someone thought they could hack into Calibank's system. In fact, it looks like maybe they did. Still want to claim you had nothing to do with this, Zoe? My dear... Why in the world would I want to break the law? And Galbank, no less. I do quite enough business with them as it is. All right. Well, I'll have some people look over this. Maybe they'll be in touch. I very much doubt that. Oh, this whole you time I never turned on this. If there's something you need, no matter what it is, either I have it or I can get it. You didn't get that slate. I got that. <clears throat> Who's clearing their throat at me? Calm down. Still says speak with Juliana. What do I gotta do to speak with Juliana? Follow her? I have three projects that are back burned right now because no one has time to help me. Three! Well, go to your whatever spot so I can talk to you. I got it from one of the outfitters here. They have the best selection. You look amazing. I need to talk to you. Looks like you've got a few diplomatic mission stamps in your file. Keep making the settled systems a more peaceful place. I just figured I could do some shopping while I'm waiting for her to do whatever she's doing. I should have done shopping with the Trade Authority while I was in there. The Trade Authority has access... You won't find a better selection or more reason. Now I'll just take it all. Pleasure dealing with you. about the trade it's cliche but it's true be my guest forty mils the trade authority appreciates your visit
thing about the trade business, who you know matters. It's cliche, but it's, you won't find a better. Array, array, 40 mil. If you need anything else, you know where to find us. Let's go to that one shop, if I can remember where it's at. By the way, Captain, sorry to Um, here it is. Happy to me. All this stuff is legit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Watch your back out there. Oh. Juliana, I don't want to talk to Juliana. Scientist by the tree, let's do that one. And I can fast travel there because it's on the same planet, same city. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the... You sound yes. concerned. Concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Mm, no. It is a tree. They are quite prevalent in the city. <laughs> if your Sarah's with you, she goes on and on about the tree and how yes, of important this it is. Different. It's only yeah. the most important tree in the city. Perhaps even all of Jemison. All of Jemison. Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. Oh, I would yeah. normally solicit help from random... I love the help. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough. Anybody that I in think chat it's right now? Collect help me out and hit like findings. on the stream. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Oh, that NPC I was talking to earlier. Oh, she's here to keep this area clean. That's I cool. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. No, probably not. See you around. Balls. Alright, that's 90. Let's do these ones that are like 20 meters away. 17. No, that doesn't count. I just came from there. Seventeen. Okay, let's go with that one. Ninety. Whatever's got one. 
Beep boop. Jesus, quick save. FC's no friend of you and me. Where you, who's yelling? The Free Star Collective has no place in New Atlantis. What's your problem with them? What's my problem with them? Really? Yeah! I'm keeping the FC accountable for the terrible things they've done. Like what? The colony war was an unforgivable tragedy. Countless lives could have been spared, but the Free Star Collective was out for blood. That was 30 years the ago. The Free Star Collective took my father away from me. How old are you? You're like 12. Your grief is blinding you. Oh, please. Grief has nothing to do with it. Facts are facts. And the fact of the matter is that my dad would be alive if the FC never broke the Treaty of Narian. Narian. Where have I heard that before? Anyways, what do you, what do you think should happen, well, huh? I want it torn down, of course. Tear it all down! Tear it all down! Tear it all down! After what they did, it's infuriating. Tear it down! Tear it all down! We should try diplomacy. Ha! Diplomacy? That doesn't mean anything to the FC. They'll break any law and treaty that they feel like. It doesn't matter to them. And I don't have any other dialogue options. All right. All right, you just sit there and be grouchy. All right, bye. Hey, are you looking for eggs too? Nope. I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. I'm looking... It w was it beeping? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? No, it's just not Miss an egg. Miss over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use them. Any hoosers. Shortcut. I'm afraid, due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. Whatever. However, welcome to UC Distribu. Yes, of
About that egg the kid sold you. Who? Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Why? What is it? It's sensitive scientific equipment. Oh, really? Oh, well, really? You can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Fine, I'll, I'll pay for Pleasure it. Pleasure doing business with you. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. A wait? There's never a line! Calm down, nothing happened. Woo. I could have crashed it just then. Jesus, quick saves. Woo. I don't mean to be pushy, but I really do need those sensors and quickly. I got him back here faster than anybody else could without the mods that I have. Any luck tracking down those sensors? Right here. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. It is working, isn't it? What? I don't feel anything. Ah, uh, there it is. What a relief. Oh, did you fart? I'll back up. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it, it's... Oh, my. What is it? It's really stinky? Don't point your butt at me! Don't fart and travel. It just spreads it around. It's a good thing you brought the biosensors to me when you did. Well, there's good news and bad news. I'm not under pressure anymore, but it stinks. My suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so may even be uttered more than once. Okay. Hopefully they start taking botany more seriously. Yes, I must admit it feels good to be vindicated. People can be so stubborn when it comes to plant life. It takes a botanist to truly understand that the well-being of plants is directly tied to the well-being of humans. But I digress. Let's get back on track. The bad news, as it were, is that... The internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're not acceptable now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Don't get your gun out. Don't reload the gun. Holster it. Check on with in with Counton later. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. Okay. <laughs> That's a glitch. Uh uh. 320. Let's see why he's got two missions on him. Um, okay.
And Andrea stays behind. Oh, they won't even show it. Crime has slowed down since you started helping. You got any yep. work? Something just came in. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Don's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Okay. Thank you. Cap. Let me know when the matter's re See you later. A break at dawn. Hey, Andrea, you spawned right in front of me. Trees here are quite beautiful. The ancient teachers of this science, said he, promised impossibilities and performed nothing. The modern masters promise very yeah, little. Fair, huh? They nice. know that metals cannot be transmuted be cool. and that the elixir of life space. is a chimera, but these philosophers, whose hands seem only made to dabble in dirt and their eyes to pour over the microscope or crucible, have indeed performed miracles. They penetrate into the recesses of nature. What is she and talking show about? How she works in her hiding places. They ascend into the heavens. They have discovered how the blood circulates and the nature of the air we breathe. They have acquired new and almost unlimited powers. They can command the thunders of heaven, mimic the earthquake, and even mock the invisible world with its own shadows. Such were the professor's words. Rather, let me say, such the words of the fate, announced to destroy me. As he went on, I felt as if my soul were grappling with a palpable enemy. One by one, the various keys were touched, which formed the mechanism of my being. Of my being? Chord after chord was sounded, and soon my Aliens. mind was filled with one thought, one conception, one, one purpose. purpose. So much has been done, exclaimed the soul of Frankenstein. Oh, she's reading Frankenstein! More, far more will I achieve. Treading in the steps already marked, I will pioneer a new way, explore unknown powers, and unfold to the world the deepest mysteries of creation. And that is where we'll pick up next time, delving deeper into Dr. Frankenstein's ambitions. Let us see each other again soon. If this water is unsafe. What the heck? Am I even...
I can't get to it. Oh, it's a restaurant. Okay, where's the location? Residential. I can't see that. You got a map? <sighs> People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you. Number 42. The only thing wrong with these maps is there's no you are here. And these, I had to install a mod to get these maps. Residential district. So come out of the mat, the gnat, and turn right. Supposed to find a specific person. Speak to Royce. All right, are you Royce? Citizen. It's amazing what boss Samson nowadays. Markeith. Royce isn't in there. He got lost hiking? Okay, okay, I need to spawn him. Spawn... Code. Nobody says they have the code. How to spawn... Alright, Starfield. Ugh. Console command spawn NPC. Player dot place at me. Well, I don't know what right here. I gotta do like this. And then... Zero, zero, 001C. Right, I need a space. What? It erases? Okay, whatever. 001C. 2BAB.
Not allowed. Place. What are you showing me? Place at me and it doesn't scroll. I, what are you highlighting all of this for? I need another website. This is too hard to read. Player dot spawn at me. Could not parse. How far away is he? 300 meters. Okay. Let's go try something. He's outside of the map, but I can get outside of the map. Yep. Uh, Todd Howard! Push the technology, so... You may need to upgrade your PC for this game. Shut up, Todd Howard. How far am I? Two meters. Jesus, quick saves. Let's do it! Okay, well, let me get over there. Weird. Two meters. Okay. Eventually, I was able to caught up to him, able to progress the quest to normal. You should fast travel to the ship or New Atlantis. This on Xbox, so no cheats or mods. But ah, uh,
There he is. What happened in your restaurant? Ah, uh, a most unfortunate incident. Complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio have been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. Yes, apparently someone stole a ring. I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after UC security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon. But I would start there. Unglitch yourself, bruh. Liar, that manipulator, that that man who charged you with theft. Yes, the man who. Wait, what? He's accusing me of theft? The nerve of that Lothario! Five years we were together, half a decade, and he threw it all away for that waiter. Huh? Your ex says you stole the ring. He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. It's still his property. I don't care. I'm not... Uh, four. Is that what the law says? To be honest, I, I am not sure. Stop being stubborn about it. You're right. My stubbornness gets me in trouble far too often. Ugh. Fine. Flying. Extremely agitated, but extremely I want no to see prison. Here. An engagement ring. Oh man, that's broken heart shapes. Broken heart shapes quest line. Don't like. Maybe that's why the programmers left one of the NPCs way out in the middle of a field, so you want to find them and finish the story. security officer. Crime has slowed down since you started stepping up, which is good for me. Oh, perfect. Did There's you manage to get the, the ring back? <laughs> Keep ring? That's so stupid. Here you go. Excellent. I'm sure the victim will be pleased to know their property has been returned. You acquitted yourself well again. I dare say you might have a knack for police work. Hardly surprising for a captain of the UC Vanguard, but still, impressive nonetheless. Here, take this. It's well deserved. If I got 8,000 bucks right now, I'd pay off a credit card or two. And then get a car. A cheap used car. It still says talk to Sergeant Yumi. What's this Kelton Fresh one? K 
Kelton Frush. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my. A bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. You gotta have some sort of plan. I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, it is impossible to do so. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand. Oh, that you were saying you had a fart again. Okay, let me guess, co-worker and a jilted lover. What? No. That is ridiculous. I am a professional. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get it. Oh, thank you. Uh, last I... Uh... Perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process. Out on a limb. What? Oh, I, th I, th I thought it was the same guy. Of all the assignments they could have given me. <sighs> could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. You're a rude guy. I'm on mass business. A mass business. Please. Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with whatever this thing is he's on about. He's just doing it to make himself look good. What a jerk. You should be the bigger man here. Oh, yeah? You think so? Wow. Thanks for that. Oh. Uh, he really won't let this go. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I'll hand over this. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in... Oh my gosh! That sounds shady. Well, then I guess we don't see you around. Really? You changed your mind, did you? Can I just beat you up? What do you want me to do? Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed. Best of luck out there. Oh gosh. Is that the only option I have? Just says talk to him. 
Fine, I'll do your stupid thing, Changed stupid your game. Mind, did you? Wait, really? I shared this surprise. You are willing to entertain this? Ips, I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations. I found a back door into them. The only way to get access is. There we go. How about you just give me Kelton's data now and we skip the rest? <laughs> Sorry. This isn't the way to get ahead. From where I'm standing. Botany. I'm not trying to make this more difficult. Okay, look, look. Just hear me out, all right. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. I'll throw in some extra credits. Enough of this. Fine, fine, you win. Just get out of my sight. And tell Kelton to stuff it. You stuff it, you jerk wad! I wanna punch you! So worried about your career that you're not even doing your job. You want people to hack into stuff and make you look better with records. That guy's a douchebag. You want me to punch him? To avoid disaster. I hope you have the data. It's that Amelia is a piece of work. That he is. I'm sorry that you had to put up with him, but this data is vital. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later, particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double-cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. I'm just doing my part. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance. What else we got? Check on Kelton later. Alright. Yumi. Thank you again for getting the data from Emilio. I know he can be a pain. Oh, it says check on Sergeant Yumi, but it isn't on the map. Oh, what do you know? That one's a glitch one. Oh, there we go. Magic! What? I don't want to do that. Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is it's most fortuitous. fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. Still? All right, I'm eager to help you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's what? much simpler. They're listening. Listening? Uh, what does that mean? It means it is ready to reproduce. Oh, baby trees! I this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. Thank you As for coming yet, back to chat, Salmon, no because I, I decided that will not change that I wait for this guy to talk. is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. I decided that after the stream, I'm going to do your recommendation. I'm going to look at the specs you gave me for lore training. And I'm going to set up a batch. 
and train an SDXL Laura tonight based off of a successful Laura I have trained in the past, but instead using your parameters and that way I can compare later. And I'm going to do that right after the stream so it'll run overnight while I sleep. So we've got to do something fast. My thoughts Save precisely. the trees. Now, as of yet, there has been no response. And clearly, none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Freestar Collective emerged from the Narian War. Mm. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. That sounds nice. Nice? Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. Oh, right, because botany. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Clearly, no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. Mm. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. That's a dead end, lol. I don't understand why that's Nine, helping sorry, us right now. I'll get to the point. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. I'll get it as soon as I can. <laughs> ah, I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the super. I don't know any. Just let right. me get. Let me go get it. Let me go get. It. That's an, that's enough uh, dialogue tree for now. Not, not, not that one. I want this one because it'll take me straight there. Revelation. That is three fifty-three. I'm not going to get super accurate on these timestamps, but they'll be close. Uh-oh. What happens? I admit that calling for help isn't usually how I work. But you'd be surprised how eager the other Starborn were to join in. Uh-huh. Even after everything you've done, I still offer you the chance to surrender peacefully. Alien. Lost engines. Doesn't make sense. Uh, why am I not boosting when I try to boost?
the hunter himself seems to have retreated to the temple. Let's take this to the ground. You ready? I'll no, you I'm doing something else right now. I, why did I go to the Masada 3? Well, it's not revelation that I'm trying to do. That's for later. Late bloomer. Ugh. Expansion must be very difficult for Aquila. The native wildlife being Jesus is. quick saves. And my camera is still in front of the st oh. There. Stinger's going front. No, oh, I'm here for something else, but. Hi, please feel free to have a look around. It's the That's about a tree branch. Is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies. I've received some odd messages of late. It's botanical work. A tree is upset. Few scientists are something else. Regardless, I can't just hand over museum property and. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not. That now you're wasting my time with all this blah 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 blah. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. Ugh. All right. Convince Leia to hand over the branch or steal it. I have artifacts that date all the way back. I hear what you're saying. It's only four. I can be very annoying when I need to be. Handing over that branch is starting to look pretty good. Wow, I did you it with one I'm try. Doing this. Please. Hello, love. Hello, love. Heart shapes. <laughs> My favorite person. Flirt. <laughs> I know that tone. Very well. What is it? Oh! Dialogue I haven't done yet. Your love is... Uh, I can't wait to spend all the tomorrow with you. The vast ocean of space. I'm so glad I washed up on your shore. Thank you for being here with me. Yeah, I actually like that one because she's the best NPC follower. Thank you, dearest. You are not so bad yourself. I will be thinking about you. Dearest. I have never quite been able to think of New Atlantis as home. I hope Aquila City has what we need. Have you paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? Mm hmm. She wants it back when you're done with it. Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her and. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. Oh, I got you. All right, so we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I'm hoping it's enough. And there it is. Our 
Best hope for a positive solution to this mess. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. Do it! I don't have a much of a singing voice, but I could try tree talk! <laughs> I'm quite certain you couldn't achieve the necessary register. Far too low tree for talk! human vocal cords. I've oh, been forced to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. Let's do it. I'll take care of it. I have no doubt that you will. It's time to do some hacks. hacks. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, let's go there. This is interesting now. Uh. Hmm. I am glad there is still a reliable source of news in the circuit systems, though it often travels significantly. Slower than light. It's important that the people of the United Colonies can trust their primary news source. Return to the tree. seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations the tree is calming down oh sweet i can hardly believe that worked what happens now i don't know we've been in uncharted territory this whole time that doesn't stop now nothing can stop With me nothing can crisis, stop me over, now i can slow down and review everything we've learned and certainly i'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward and you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis. Though they don't know it. <laughs> Though they don't know it. has slowed down since you started to help. I do. Thanks to you, the spaceport is up and running again, which is... We've received a tip that someone has been bringing in contraband into New Atlantis through the... I'll, I'll do it. I'll Great. find it. Ask them if they've noticed any suspect. Once you've gotten a lead, when you're done, report. See you later.
something I can do for you? I'm investigating a smuggler. Mm, can't say I have. When you work... Look, I'm just a port worker. My whole life would fit into one of these boxes. I've got nothing to hide. Now, if you don't mind... Hmm. Yes, what? Can I help you? I'm investigating a About smuggler. Time. I've been telling my supervisor about that cargo ship for ages. I'm beginning to think he was ignoring me. What's the name of the ship? That's the problem. I don't really look at the ship names when I work, just the ID number granted for clearance. I think it was uh, UC576B. I do know it's a cargo class transport, if that helps. Well, what was suspicious about it? It's the way the crew handled the cargo. They were being way too delicate. The manifest said they were carrying potatoes, spuds. I don't know what was in those crates, but it certainly wasn't that. Hmm. Okay. Let's go get those ship records. Okay. You see any You are, of course, welcome at any time here at Vast. Same as anyone. Just the fewer people there are thinking about... That I do, Captain. Sergeant Yumi said you'd be coming. You've got good timing, too. Here you are. The intel's for a star station? Yep. Every ship on that list has a route that goes through New Atlantis. Not surprising, given we're the biggest port in town. And if they're smuggling stuff there, you can bet your ass they're smuggling stuff here. Keep your eyes open. Now oh, read the slate, okay. Oh, okay, the guy said UC-75B. Cargo class, Captain Malawi Nidjai. Pure hydroponics potatoes. Report to Sergeant Yumi. Are you gonna let me fast travel? Yes, you are. Weird. Let me through. I hope there is strategic value in traversing the water. You sent me to the wrong area. Game.
Has investig- Found those smugglers yet? Is that right? Do you know the name by any chance? Oh crap. See you later, Captain. Oh. Notes. Oh, shoot. Maloe Nidjai. How's the investigation going? Is that right? It's none of those. Let me know if you have any questions. Notes. Where'd it go? The guy says UC fifty seven six B. Which is Mall Awe. I'm writing it down. Nid E A Y E. So he wants the name of the ship. An Anansi. He just said, give me a name. I thought he meant the person. Found those smugglers yet? Is that right? Do you know the name? Anansi. Captain Enjai's ship. I think you might have hit the mark here. Yeah, because I paid you attention. Had reports of their crew being less than professional on several occasions. <gasps> Still, less than professional. I get that at work all the rough time. Around the edges isn't exactly a crime. Are you sure it's the right ship? I'm sure there's a witness and all that stuff and evidence. Then the next step is searching their cargo for any smuggled contraband. And yeah, for evidence. Would have it. I believe the Anansi has already arrived at landing pad B. I'll make the call to have it. Your job is to board the ship, locate any illicit goods, and return them here. And if any of the and crew return them here. Fight, I trust you know what to do. Yeah, I could just blast them to smithereens. I go drop off succulents on my ship after that. It's always a it's always a good day for a robot. <coughs> always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. security my suggestion you turn around and pretend you saw nothing right you want to get blasted with my bullets G 
Jesus quick saves. Looking for something? Let's see if you want to uh, talk to me first. What? What? Crate of Contraband. So obvious. Well, it looks like you got me, officer. I guess officer. this means my potato shipping days are numbered. Uh huh. Maybe you'd be willing to give a first time offend. I don't suppose you're interested in a deal? I don't make bargains with criminals. Fine. You've made your choice. But now, you'll have to pay. Big mistake! Get up! Get up! <laughs> Good one. <laughs> You're a little dead is what you are. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Man, the ad just keep all oh, rolling. That's right, because I keep reloading the page. The one I'm monitoring in the stream with keeps rolling the ads. Anybody else want to be blasted to smithereens? You have made a grave mistake. Why do they even try? Why am I? Oh, that's right. I want to go to my ship and drop off my succulents. It's 420 on the thingy. Where's my ship? There she is. Good. My succulents are still on the floor where I put them. How'd you get in here and be sweeping so fast? You were following me and you were outside. You were behind me. Misk. Oops. Succulents! You got sorted. Okay. Okay, okay. Where, where are you? What is a faster way? Page up. Left, up, up, down. End. So, G, down, end.
Toss. Toss. Hey, again. Hey, you captain. Did you bring me a big pile of succulents for me to trip over? Hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. I also got you some new succulents, guy. And he was just collecting desk plants. What was the point? How's the investigation? How's the investigation going? No major hiccups, I hope. Did what? I got it right here. Very well done, Captain. Time and time again, you come through for us. Initially, I felt bad for having someone of your rank doing security, but frankly, you're worse sure, sorry, than guilt. In any case, in any I'll have a team move the ship off the landing pad and do a full sweep. Make sure there's no other surprises on board. On board. Oh, and. Before I forget, your payment. It's for your job. Ah. Oh, what am I doing in the next stream? Okay, that's what we're closing the video out with. With the outro. Four twenty-four thirty. can't show you in the game because it's not obvious in the game so I'm gonna Google it so you can see what I'm doing Starfield snow globes images you, you collect these snow globes and then you go to earth to these locations and you well you collect books and the books tell you where the location on the earth the snow globes are and you go get them and you collect them once you have them all you get secret armor which i should have done earlier in the game but i want to check it out before i do my new before i do new game plus so anybody still watching the stream thanks for uh, hanging out especially salmon for always giving me a super chat and and i'm gonna see everybody in the next stream next week that's 7 30 p.m eastern or 4 30 p.m pacific on thursdays and i'll be seeing you in my skit videos and disabled diffusion videos coming out on my channel because i've got some of those planned as well all right bye oh later salmon and i'm good but after this stream and i set up my timestamps in here i am going to start training some loras if I got time before I want to fall asleep, I'll I'll do more than one and do a batch. If not, I'll at least get one started. All right, later, dude.